Brexit and statutory interpretation. The people of Britain voted to leave the European Union on June 23, 2016. One of the important issues from the statutory interpretation view is whether the courts will alter their approach to interpreting the laws in the post-Brexit era. On the other hand, we need to keep in mind that since the accession of the UK with the EU, a separate EU law-based jurisprudence has developed and has become a major part of the UK legal system. It can be safely said that the purposive approach will continue to be used. However, given the nature of the UK legislation, the courts may not need to look at the legislation from as wide point of view as they had looked at the legislation originated in the EU. In the post-Brexit era, any rights and obligations that flowed from the EU treaties are going to go away, except the ones which are already passed into statutes, or unless Parliament enacts the laws to make them part of the UK legal system. In other words, bringing about constitutional changes on a large and drastic scale within the UK legal system. The European Court of Justice rulings may not be binding on the UK courts and the UK courts may have no need to follow the precedents. This applies to both the higher as well as the lower UK courts. This means that the statutory interpretation may get a complete overhaul in the post-Brexit era. In the circumstances, we can only wait and see how the UK legal system is going to be refined and developed as a result of the changes ahead. Let's go on to our next section, Aids to Interpretation, where we are going to learn about intrinsic aids and extrinsic aids. See you in the next section.